us started when the Whitehall borough started to receive a large influx of resettled refugees. And when it became apparent that the settlement was significant, um, we as a library thought that it was important that we make ourselves visible and useful to these new residents in the area. So Councilwoman Linda Book came up with this plan where we would contract with the school district and provide bus transportation for those folks over to the library and hence the term learn bus. Once one time, the Monday, uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. to 2 hour time. Yeah. Libraries are going to hear all uh, this class, uh, the reading people and family, and each one of them and go there and learn for the computer and, and everything. See the book. Um, what books I uh, like this year? I bring here and reading one week, ten, two week, three week, and written four, and CD, magazine, everything here. 2002, January, I came up to the library like I usually do on a weekend, and I noticed on a Sunday there was uh, a school bus, and I thought, what's a school bus doing at the library on a Sunday? And I asked the uh, director, um, our library director, Lee Boyd at the time, and she said, well, we have these folks come over. Catholic Charities brought them in to help them get settled from the war-torn countries they came from. And why don't they bring them over here to get a library card? Here is your card. You just need to sign it. They're the same. There's just a little one and a big one for you, OK? I said, well, that's really great, but how do they ever come back to use it again? And they have the library card, but the whole purpose was to be able to use it in the future. And so I got uh, the Whitehall Lions Club and a private uh, business in Whitehall called Tri-State Mobile X-Ray. And the Friends of the Whitehall Public Library donated money for the first year to pay for the gas and the driver. And after that, it was 10 years ago, and we've been going strong ever since. One of the things we've learned is that you can't just invite folks into your library and expect them to get it, particularly this population. So some of the things we've done is um, reserve a whole bank of computers, which turns six, seven computers. We, um, and it's funny, I mean, the, the teens go right for them and then the older folks will sit down next to them and they'll usually watch YouTube videos from their own country. And the kids are on Facebook, of course. In our multi-purpose room, which we refer to as our second chapter cafe, our little coffee shop, we've turned that into an arts and crafts area. That's really popular with the older ladies that come, particularly those that speak no English. Um, they're very comfortable going in there and working with our library volunteers and making crafts, something they can take home. Also popular with the, with the young girls, so it's, it's very sweet to see a lot of intergenerational um, activity going on in there. Uh, we always have something going on in the children's library, whether it's just a standard uh, story time with our children's librarian, uh, or sometimes we'll have a special guest. Who rides the bus to school? Raise your hand. All right, you're taking the bus. One thing we've also learned is that the folks that come in on the Learn Bus are far too overwhelmed uh, by the size of the library, by its structure. They do not know how to successfully browse for library material that is um, best suited for them. So what we do now is set up three long tables and pre-select material. Um, books to take home for pleasure, as well as instructional books, books on citizenship, books on um, ESL learning, of course, books on American history, and just basic alphabet and math books. The library, uh, sometimes coming library, reading book, come back. Check Go to out? SL class, yeah. Are you going to check books out tonight? Uh, today uh, I will try on the book, on the, on the hard book. I will hard, hard book. Yeah, get some hard books. Yeah, hard book. I will try. So that's been really successful, and we've noticed our circulation go way up 
uh, ever since we started pooling the material beforehand and having it at the ready for them. Okay, seven days in the week, right? <coughs> seven. Seven. You want to sing it for us? Seven. 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 Thank you, Januka. Good. Okay, Monday. I always Monday. put Monday first because that's when you go to work mm -hmm. if you go, have a job yeah. and the children go to school. Yeah. So I always start the week with Monday. Well, at, in the Learn Bus program, GPLC is kind of the conduit to get the people connected to the library. The library is there, they do wonderful things, but the people here had no way to connect to the library. They didn't know what it was. Um, the idea of anything free, open to everyone, was a pretty strange concept. So part of our role then was to get them familiar with the library learn the vocabulary of the library so they could actually function there, help them get their library cards, um, and teach them, of course, and then encourage them to go. And then, of course, we go to the library with them on the Learn Bus to support that as well. Okay, everybody's got Monday, Monday Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 Wednesday Thursday, 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 exciting that Learn Bus has been for our learners, especially our um, senior adults. Most of the seniors in this community don't get out of the apartment complex. So for them, this is a huge event. And um, so when you walk around the library and you see them um, interacting with their kids and their grandkids and their neighbors, it's pretty exciting to see. And there's one other really important thing that really was the key to making this successful. The director of the library and some of the library staff came to a GPLC volunteer training where we teach them how to tutor. Okay, so go be Road, July 4th is Independence Holiday. So July 4th is a national holiday. So the librarians came out of the library, came to us, learned how to tutor, got to know our students, and they come every week now and tutor our students. And I would like each student to stand up, if you can. It might be too crowded for standing up, but I just want to make sure you can all hear one another. I would like you to stand up and read your sentence of the story, and we will go around the class, okay? Speak nice and loud so everybody can hear. Colonist came from England to live in America. Oh, that's not English. <laughs> the colonists were ruled by the King of England. So the connection to the library started out very personal. So now they know the librarians, they're friends with them, and of course many volunteers come to the library as well as to our space. And then, so our learners know them, and um, that was really a key. To getting that involvement and that's why now sometimes we have to take two bus loads. The Learn Bus is so close to my heart because I can't believe it's been 10 years, it's gone so fast, but I think the main thing is again helping the people that need it and I'm very proud of our Whitehall Library staff because without them continuing with the ideas and working with these folks, it's not always easy, you get a lot of folks at the same time on a night and you try to keep it organized and everyone at a nice level and the staff couldn't be better. So I, I'm more proud of that, bringing everyone together. You know, Well, I initiated it. It would never be here 10 years later if it wasn't for these fantastic people.